Oh, hey YouTube, I am Hans and this is my brother Franz and we are here to pump you up. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Tominator here. And yes, as you can see from this picture, we're going to be talking about the 1995 Mr. Olympia once again. Because when I was making my last video on Dorian Yates' best shape ever, I couldn't help but notice how great Kevin Lavroni looked as well. He placed second that year, so uh, he was often being compared side by side with Dorian. And needless to say, it was definitely a really good year for him. Might have even been his best shape of his career, uh, but I need to do some research, so don't quote me on that just yet. But anyway, a fair number of people would argue that Lavroni deserved to win this one. It was definitely a competitive show, so we're going to walk through this pose by pose and figure out who really deserved to win this thing. So first up, we got a front relaxed pose, and looks like both these guys got caught off guard. <laughs> or maybe it's just the unflattering angle. In any case, neither one of them looks impressive. Yates especially is pretty bad here. I mean, his waist looks big and bloated. And his arms look terrible, and frankly amateur-like. Definitely not Mr. Olympia worthy, at least based on this one picture. His chest does look better though, but that's about it. So for this one crappy pick, it's going to Kevin. But really, this is a bad shot. It doesn't even look like they were prepared, and it doesn't really tell us much. Here we've got a better view of them standing in the front relaxed position. Dorian looks much better now. He's flaring his lats and puffing up his chest, and actually tensing his legs somewhat. With Lavroni, you can see greater definition in the, in the thighs and better quad sweep. It's again tough to really judge this one because the angle's off and Kevin isn't facing head on, so he appears smaller and narrower. But if I had to make a call, Yates is going to take this one. Again, it's not really a fair shot and not a good representation of either guy, so let's move on. Okay, now in the side relax pose, I'm giving this one to Yates. I think he wins this pretty decisively because he's displaying a lot more detail through the midsection, his chest looks bigger and fuller and the outside of his thighs more defined. He's also just hitting the pose more effectively, uh, twisting and bringing his arm back further to accentuate his width and thickness. The only thing Kevin's got on him here is that sick horseshoe, but other than that, it's Yates 100%. Ah, but enough of the quarter turns, let's get into the real poses. So the front double by is an easy one to call. Even somebody who knows nothing about bodybuilding could tell you that Lavroni's beating him here. As I mentioned in my last video, Dorian had literally half a bicep at this point, as a result of his training injury in 94, so he loses for that reason alone. Shit, I'd honestly give the win to Sean Ray there, looking like he just stepped out of the golden era with that kick-ass vacuum. But since we're debating between Yates and Lavroni, Kevin takes it. Not only does he have better arms, his waist is tighter, his quad sweep and separation is better, as are his overall lines and flow. Only thing Yates has on him here in this pose is a bit of extra size through the lats and calves. Uh, now, I know Yates' calves are more than a bit bigger than Kevin's, but in these photos, they don't look that much larger. So yeah, regardless, Kevin takes the front double quite handily. In the front lat spread, though, different story. This is Dorian's pose, and he kills pretty much everybody in it. But Lavroni is also very strong in this pose, and he's doing a respectable job hanging with him here. His V-taper is really outstanding, and he's almost filling out the pose just as well as Yates, but not quite. I actually like his lower body better, though. Dorian's quads just don't really do it for me. They never had much sweep and his separation looks frankly kind of fucked up. I'm not sure if it's uh, just how they're genetically shaped or if it's the result of another training injury. I know he did injure his legs or, or one of his legs at one point, in, but uh, I can't remember when. You guys can tell me in the comments. But anyway, his quads were never a strong body part and I feel like Kevin's are much more shapely. Yates does have better calves of course, but again that's not really that important in this pose. The main advantage Dorian has here is of course the massive lats, but also his chest looks much better than Kevin's in this position. Lavroni's kind of caves in here in the center and it doesn't look very good, whereas Dorian's looks much fuller and more complete. Even his shoulders measure up pretty well, which is quite a feat when you're standing next to the Maryland Muscle Machine, a guy who had some of the best delts in history. So it is close. Lavroni might even steal this one if his chest didn't look so deflated. That's really letting him down because his waist is slightly tighter and his arms and legs look a little better, but that's not quite enough in my mind to propel him past the master lat spreader they call the shadow. His upper body just looks perfect in this pose like he was born to stand this way, so sorry Kevin, close but no cigar. And we got another battle here in the side chest. Depending on what you favor in a bodybuilding physique, this could go either way. If you like massive arms and full muscle bellies, then Lavroni's your man. But if you prefer rock solid conditioning and a more detailed vascular physique, then Dorian takes it pretty easily. Personally, I've got to go with Dorian again in this one, not by a long shot whatsoever, he's just edging him out. Normally I'd say that Kevin is much stronger in this pose, but in this specific picture, uh, in this contest, 
I prefer Dorian because he looks a little more polished and detailed. It's tough to tell though from this angle, so let's keep going. And uh, this one is more head-on, so it's easier to judge. And yeah, Kevin looks a little too soft standing next to this grainy mass monster. So even though I like Leveroni more in terms of his shape and his aesthetics, my eyes just draw more to Dorian, so that's where I've got to rest my hat. The veins running through the shoulder and down the bicep look really impressive. His legs look better in this picture. Uh, maybe Kevin just needs more posing oil, or um, the, the light's not catching him as well where he's standing on the stage, because he doesn't have that same shine on his quads like what Dorian has here, and it's making his definition suffer. I do have to appreciate the massive arms though, they're significantly bigger than Dorian's, but still, Yates looks more refined. Maybe it is just the lighting, but I doubt it. So, Dorian was better conditioned in this show, and we'll see that pretty definitively later on. So based off these two picks, I give Dorian a slight edge in the side chest. And this was obviously at the tail end of that comparison, as Dorian's already transitioned out of it and he's shown off the tries. I included this photo anyway just to once again showcase Dorian's superior conditioning. Kevin looks great though, don't get me wrong, he really brought his A-game to this show, but he doesn't quite match this level of conditioning. In the back double bicep, it's again surprisingly close, considering Dorian was always so dominant from the back. Not quite as much in the, back, in the back double as in the lat spread, but still. That back was basically untouchable at the time. On the other hand, the back was never a strong point for Lavroni, but I gotta admit he's holding his own here. Once again, he's killing Dorian in the arm department, and I also like his shoulders more, and even his upper traps. The thing is, Kevin was never known for having a great uh, back. He always had good width and a great V-taper, so he excelled in the lat spreads, but he never had a lot of thickness or detail to go along with it so he always tended to suffer in the back double by. This is probably the best I've ever seen him in this pose, but he still can't compete with a prime Dorian Yates. And while Kevin's arms are taking a shit on Dorian's, Yates is returning the favor in the calf department, so... It's tough for me to say it because I prefer more aesthetic guys. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know this by now, but... Um, nonetheless, I gotta give it to Dorian because the back is just too much for his competition to handle here especially in the lower portion, Dorian's lower back is just in another league. Actually, in all honesty, I'd probably give this pose to Ray based on these two pictures because he's got enough detail through the back and lower body to hang with Dorian, and his shape and symmetry is far better. You know, his arms, like, like Lavroni's, are kicking Dorian's ass. Um, I feel like he's the most complete guy from head to toe in this shot. He actually took fourth this year, so how the hell a soft, bloated Nasser El Sambadi placed above him is a mystery to me. But anyway, since he's out of the discussion, I gotta give it to Dorian once again. In the Christmas tree pose, uh, pose though, this one's not even close. It's men against boys, right? Dorian's destroying him. I don't even need to explain to you why. It's just clear as day. So let's just admire for a second and move on to the rear lat spread. Another extremely strong pose for Dorian. Not a bad one for Lavroni either because, as I mentioned, his V-taper is definitely on point. This is a crappy angle for him though, so it's not a fair comparison, but you can see the incredible thickness and detail through Dorian's back here. Here, this is a more, compar uh, more fair comparison. I give uh, Lavroni the win in the ham and glute department because it looks like Yates relaxing uh, too much, but his calves look like babies next to Dorian's. I mean, these aren't even calves anymore, they're full-grown cows, man. As for upstairs, it's close in terms of the width. I think Kevin's got him beating the V-taper aspect because his waist is smaller, and he's pretty much just as wide, but in terms of thickness and density, Yates wins. Look at the lower traps. Dorian's are just popping out like something's trying to escape. So overall, it's very close, but I gotta give it to the shadow for the calves and the overall development through the back. Side tricep now. Goddamn, another tough call. Why these guys gotta do this to me? They both look top-notch in this shot. This is a super strong pose for both guys. On the one hand, Lavroni has some of the best triceps in history, so he's got a major advantage there. But I feel like Dorian hits the pose so effectively, he really maximizes his potential in it, whereas Kevin doesn't really do that. He doesn't even fully extend his arm all the way, so his triceps not maximally contracted, and that's probably why Dorian's looks sharper. Um, obviously, the conditioning's playing a, a part in that as well, but I do like Kevin's midsection much more here, however. But the way Dorian turns to face the stage more makes him appear wider and more imposing, Plus he has that crazy vein snaking down his shoulder and arm. I don't know, I, I lean towards Yates because I like the way he hits the pose better, but objectively, I think this pick deserves a tie. Here's another one though. Unfortunately, the lighting kind of sucks. It's too dark, but Kevin looks indisputably better here. So, you know what, let's just give this pose to Lavroni. Uh, he could use a morale boost after losing the last four poses. 
But honestly, in both these side poses, the side chest and the side tricep, you could go either way. I'm tempted to just say it's a tie from the side. Ab and thigh, once again, I gotta give to my man Sean Ray. <laughs> but seriously, between Dorian and Kevin, I actually like Dorian more in this shot because his V taper is better and his abs look a little more thickly developed, especially through the middle. I could easily see you giving this to Kevin though because his midsection is maybe more pleasing to the eye and same with the front leg. But I just like the upper body of Yates more personally in this pick. This one though, yikes. Yates looks like a mess. Lavroni appears much sharper here and easily wins this comparison. Dorian looks bloated and uncharacteristically soft. If I didn't know better, I'd swear this from this was from uh, 1997 and not 95. And one more ab and thigh pick. Again, Sean Ray's killing it. Can somebody please explain to me why this guy plays fourth? But yeah, Kevin looks better once again. Yates forgot to flex his legs here. Uh, well, looks like Kevin did too, but at least he's hitting the abs because Dorian isn't even really doing that. The timing of this picture was clearly off, or maybe the photographer was just focusing on Ray. Uh, this one from the pose down, uh, and Kevin is showing once again why he takes the ab and thigh pose. Dorian can't hit this variation uh, this effectively straight up. Kevin, ta Kevin looks amazing here, so even though I like Dorian better in the first pick, Kevin takes the ab and thigh pose. The most muscular is also his. Nobody's touching Kevin in the hands class variation, except maybe Phil Heath, but I mean, that's like 15, 20 years later, so Dorian looks decent here, but Lavroni's just incredible. His traps, his delts, biceps, triceps, abs, quads, they all look better than Dorian's. The only body parts Gates is even competitive in here are the pecs and the forearms. So it's a blowout. Uh, here Dorian looks much better than that last pick, but still not enough to dethrone the master of the most muscular. Lavroni's arms and delts have that same 3D balloonish effect that everyone's always praising Phil for. His legs also look much fuller, so he's running away with this one. This is Lavroni's take-home pose, and he's arguably the best of all time in it. So that's all for the mandatory poses. The final tally, uh, I actually gave it a tie, 4-4. Four to four. Keep in mind this is very subjective, right? And even my own opinion might change over time or in light of further evidence. But for now, I'm giving Yates both lat spreads, the back double bicep, and I even thought he edged uh, Lavroni out in the side chest by virtue of his conditioning. Lavroni took the, the front double by, the side tricep by a hair, the ab and thigh, and the most muscular by a landslide. If you really want to break it down simply, you could say Kevin won from the front, Dorian won from the back, and the side was a tie. One thing to keep in mind though is that back then in 1995, the most muscular wasn't even an official mandatory pose, so it shouldn't carry as much weight in this contest. And the second thing to keep in mind is that the two back poses are the most important ones. Olympias are one from the back after all, and Yates pretty comfortably triumphs in that respect. Now, contest placings, as I'm sure many of you are aware, aren't determined solely by who wins the most poses. They also judge the bodybuilders holistically based on the criteria of mass, definition, symmetry, proportion, and stage presence. So in that respect, Dorian takes the mass and conditioning, but Kevin had better symmetry and proportions. And stage presence is really subjective, as it's not just posing, but also factors in coloring, professionalism, charisma, and how much the guys wow the judges and the audience. So that one's hard to call without actually being there to watch it live. So again, based on these criteria, it's pretty hard to crown a winner. But these pictures right here, I feel, seal the deal. These are some rare picks I found when digging through some bodybuilding archives on like the fourth or fifth page of Google search results, and they really highlight the superior conditioning and back development of Yates. Here you can see he's smoking Lavroni in all these photos. If contests are won from the back, then this one wasn't even close. Despite how good Lavroni looked from the front and how well he matched up in certain poses, he's getting demolished here. This last one is simply lights out, game over. I mean, this is unbeatable. The only person in bodybuilding history who could even hope to hang with this would be Ronnie Coleman in his prime, but other than that, nobody's even close. So yes, at the end of the day, I do feel like the judges made the right decision in awarding Yates the sand down. Lavroni looked tremendous as well, but he was simply outmatched from the back, and that's why he was the runner-up. Now, I don't like to see a guy with lackluster arms and relatively poor aesthetics like Dorian be crowned the champion, especially over guys who look as amazing as Kevin Lavroni or Sean Ray. But I can't deny that Yates, in spite of his glaring flaws, was the rightful winner in this show. So that's my two cents here, guys. I feel like it was a close contest, and Lavroni definitely beat him in certain poses, especially the front double bicep and the most muscular. But ultimately, it wasn't enough to knock out the champ. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree that Yates deserved to win this one, or do you think Lavroni should have taken it? 
And if so, why? What about my analysis uh, do you disagree with? But anyway, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm the Tominator, signing off. I'll be back.